on guys lethal flux here and today i've got an updated infernoid deck profile since the last one that i made uh the ban list came out right before and i was playing a whole bunch of shit for the gin lock um and lavalvo chain was banned so um this is uh, an updated one with uh, as you can see uh we got tiara and there's going to be a uh, decatron in the uh, main deck and i just I guess I just had bad timing with uh, the last deck profile that I made, so uh, we're going to be going through the main, extra, and side deck as always. And uh, yeah, the build has changed a lot. So without any further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Uh, hasn't changed in the aspect of we still do one daddy, one mommy, Infernoid, Anunsu, and Deviati. Um, you guys should know by now, you gotta banish three Infernoid monsters from your hand or graveyard to special summon. Uh, Either one of these guys. Um, this one is a heavy storm, um, except for it doesn't destroy uh, void spells or traps, and that's really important um, for this deck profile, especially, and uh, negates uh, and banishes um, monster effects. And this one is the same exact thing, except for it destroys uh, all monsters on the field, except for itself. And this one negates uh, spells and traps and banishes them. So, yeah. Uh, On to the bigger guys. We got three at Tondel. Um, very important to know, like I said in my last video, he's got to attack a monster and send it to the graveyard in order for him to gain his effect for him to attack again. Um, you got to banish two to summon this guy, and uh, DD Crow, uh, his his uh, second effect. Uh, tribute a monster on the field to uh, banish a card from your opponent's graveyard. Three of that guy. Three of the level seven Sightsmiths. Um, uh, he's um, kind of like... Uh, the other half of the BLS, I guess, since this one attacks twice and uh, he banishes. <laughs> Except for he has to attack a monster. So basically, you gotta attack a monster. You don't have to send it to the graveyard, which is awesome, and also the effect to banish does not target. So yeah, gotta banish two to special summon that guy. On to the new guy, we got Triple Decatron. This guy added a lot of consistency and deals with a lot of uh, problem cards that uh, Infernoids had problems with. Including Iron Wall, Vanity's Emptiness, Macrocosmos, Dimensional Fissure. Um, basically, this is the only Inferno that is normal summonable, so you can normal summon him and send uh, any of these guys if you like. You can send an Unsur Deviati um, to uh, have him gain the effect of negating spells or monster effects. Um, and you can also send this guy uh, quite often for um, a reason that I'll get into later. But usually, you just send the little guys to uh, pop a monster or pop a spell or trap or something like that. He's also a tuner, and he uh, he gains the level and effect of uh, whatever you send, which is good to know. Um, we've went down to two Harmatic. Don't know why this card is so expensive, but it is. Um, two Permaze, two Antra, and now two Petrulia. Um, they're all good in their own way. They're all um, they have their own situations where they're good. Um, Basically, you just run, you want to run multiples so that you'll have um, things that are still in the deck that you can send with Decatron. So, yeah. And all the little guys also have the effect that on your opponent's turn, you contribute a monster and banish a card from their graveyard. Still play a little bit of a Light Sworn Engine. Uh, the one Lumina and two Raiden. Um, it just makes the deck a little more consistent because the deck still does have some type of problem with uh, consistency. Um... But, yeah, I just... This gets your engine. It's it's a good engine for the deck. <clears throat> and uh, playing Charge of Light Brigade helps a lot with the milling and stuff. So, obviously, we still run the three reasoning. One, two, three, and the monster gate. Don't need to really explain that one. And, yeah, um, actually, I'm going to explain one thing. <laughs> um, for those of you that are playing against Infernoids, um, call level one so they don't get the... <laughs> Uh, the Decatron summon because that's basically what we go for now we go we want you guys to call like four or three so we can get the Decatron summon I don't know I think so anyway I don't know if I speak for all Infernoid players when I say that but getting Decatron off of reasoning is is decent for the new Void Imagination uh, this is basically someone used to summon the uh, the fusion monster which we'll get into in the extra deck um, basically it's a shadow fusion um, so you activate it if your opponent controls a monster from the extra deck uh, you can send this card to the graveyard and um, use up to six materials uh, for the fusion monster from your deck. Um, also, uh, it makes all current uh, Infernal monsters you control level one, uh, which is really good. But the damage that you inflict to your opponent is halved. So yeah, um, it sets up a lot of really crazy plays, especially if you can get an Unto and Deviati on the field at the same time. Um, just activating this, sending to uh, cre uh, create the fusion, and then activating this to make the fusion level 1, and then summoning your Deviati and Anunsu with the fusion is really good. Um, it's a really hard board to get over. 
Uh, double Void Seer and two Void Vanishment. Void Vanishment searches the Void Imagination. And, uh, and it searches the Seer. And it also, I'm trying to find Void Trap Holes. Because <laughs> it searches Void Trap Hole as well. And it's a little bit of a defense. Um, yeah, it's a continuous trap. So you got to discard a card to search a Void Spell or Trap. Like I said, Void Trap Hole is uh, a target. So you can do that. And um, also, uh, at the end of the damage um, step, when uh, Inferno Monster battles an opponent's monster, you can have them both uh, be banished, which is uh, good for getting around things. Two Galaxy Cyclone, like I said, not needed, but definitely helps out. Uh, like I said, we got the charges. This adds to more milling and consistency. Um, it helps you get your Raidens and Luminas and stuff like that. Uh, for the one of, we got one, one for one, one Regeki, and one Burial from the Different Dimension. I recently uh, re added this because I had to cut a whole bunch of cards. Um, and the one for one is for Decatron because, like I said, Decatron is normal summonable and special summonable now um, by other ways. So you can add uh, one for one. I don't play Rekindling because Rekindling is just really situational and I don't want to have to not banish cards from the graveyard to have a, a Rekindling in my deck be live. It's just bad, I think. Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Um, we'll get into this in a little bit. I know you guys are probably thinking, what the fuck? Why is he playing Scrap Iron Scarecrow right now? But <laughs> we'll get into that. Vanity's Emptiness. No one ever sees this coming, and, and you'll see why it's decent in this build of the deck. Let's get on into the extra deck. Well, I only play one Inferno tier. I was playing three. Um, I found that I needed more extra deck space um, to put more cards in there. So just one is fine. You can always send... Uh, so let's actually let's get into the fucking it, the effect is absolutely crazy. So let's see. He requires Infernoid or Nutsu and Infernoid Deviati plus one or more Infernoid monsters. Um, uh, very important to know that he only gains the effect based on different named Infernoids that you send to the graveyard for the fusion. Uh, three or more each player sends the top three card or sends three cards from the extra deck to the graveyard. Five or more each player sends the top three cards of their deck to the graveyard. Eight or more. Um, I've resolved this one a couple of times. Each player returns three of the banished cards to their graveyard. Which is obviously good because you get to resummon your stuff. Never resolve the ten or more, but ten or more is each player uh, sends their entire hand to the graveyard. So that would be pretty awesome to resolve, but you'd have to play a lot of the bad in Fortnite, and I'm not going to. But yeah, he's huge. He's level eleven. He's 3400, uh, 3400 attack, 3600 defense. Um, he's absolutely gigantic. Um, and if you can make him a level one and special summon all the other stuff on top of it with Void Dream, like I, or Imagination, uh, like I explained before, it's an absolute powerhouse card. For the Synchros, level 7s, we do the uh, 1 Black Rose, 1 Michael, 1 Clearing Synchro Dragon, 1 Ancient Sacred Wyvern, and for the 8th we do Crimson Blader, um, still good against Necros in the Mirror Match. Red Dragon Archfiend, there's a reason that we play a lot of dragons, you'll see pretty soon. 1 Stardust Dragon, 1 Beals, and I know we don't have a Dark Tuner, but uh, like I said, you'll see here in just a second. Um, for the other level 8, we got Void Ogre. Again, no Dark Tuner, but that's okay. Trishula. I don't make Trishula a lot, but it's there just in case I need it, because if I can resolve a Trishula, then that's amazing. Uh, puts my opponent at a huge disadvantage. And Ultimaya Zulkin. <laughs> so, the deal with this is, basically you use um, this to special summon all the level 8s that I, uh, the level 8 or 7 dragons that are in here. So, you can do Black Rose, it won't get its effect though. But you can do Michael. You can do Red Hot Dragon, Stardust Dragon, should be Spark Dragon, sorry, that's in there, uh, Beals, or even Void Ogre Dragon. Um, so basically, when he's, uh, he requires two, uh, one tuner, one non-tuner, um, ah, what is it called, uh, that are the, uh, the same level, uh, as long as they're level five or higher. So basically, the deal is, you, uh, I'm just gonna explain it, it's easier to explain. So you summon Decker Draw and activate the effect and send Sightsmos, and then if you have one of these guys in your grave, this is that Tondel. You're going to special summon your Atondel, as long as this guy's on the field, so then you can, they're both level 8 because this gains a 7 from Sightsimus. So you send that and you special summon this guy. So this is why we run Scrap Iron Scarecrow. So then after that you set the Scrap Iron Scarecrow and his effect is whenever a spell or trap card is set on your side of the field, you can special summon uh, a level 7 or 8 dragon type monster. And this card cannot be targeted um, for attacks or by card effects while you have another Synchro monster on the field. So when you set that, you can special summon a dragon. I usually go for Beals first. And if they go to like attack or something, or I don't know, uh, you can activate Scrap Iron Scarecrow, and on their turn, it'll reset itself because that's the effect of Scrap Iron Scarecrow. So it'll reset itself, and you can special summon something again. It's just really gimmicky. Um, it's there if you need it, but if, if you can pull that off, um, it's absolutely amazing, and it's really hard for your opponents to get around. Um, it's just something that they never expect. 
So yeah, it's it's really good. I, I like it a lot. Like I said, I'm probably gonna cut it if I go to a big tournament. But for locals and stuff, it's really good. So yeah, we've already went over all the synchros. For the Xyz, we only play three. Uh, the one big eye, I felt it's just absolutely amazing, especially in the mirror match. Uh, one Exciton and one Dante. Um, don't really go into this too often anymore, but yeah, it is what it is. For the side deck, because the side deck is actually pretty relevant, we got two spell canceller. I finally got my spell cancellers. I don't have to play Vanity Spin anymore and have my reasoning stopped. So yeah, we got the the two spell cancellers. Still do Chaos Hunter, good against Cosmos, Spiritual Beast, the Mirror Match, and uh, um, uh, Necroz still because those are still a thing. So yeah, we got those. Two Artifact Lancia. Uh, like I said, there's still a lot of decks that banish. So yeah, the one Jinzo. This is for Klee and Teller and stuff like that. Uh, the double MST because this deals with you know all the massive amounts of floodgates that are being played right now in the game. Um, this also gets rid of Iron Wall. And Galaxy Cyclone does not. I've heard so many people say Galaxy Cyclone gets rid of Iron Wall. It doesn't get rid of Iron Wall, guys. You have to banish the card. Uh, Imperial Iron Wall states that you cannot banish cards. So. Um, Please don't try to do that or say Galaxy Cyclone banishes the card or that you can chain Galaxy Cyclone because it's a spell speed one and you can't chain spell speed ones. <laughs> I've just heard a lot of ruckus on, on YouTube and stuff, so let's not get that confused. Let's not look retarded out there in the YouTube comment section, guys. Uh, two breakthrough skill, we're citing those right now. Uh, double fiend grieving, like I said. Um, actually, I didn't say this, but I said in the last video, they're all fiends, so you can send all your fiends and stuff, and you know, it's good in the mirror match, good against uh, Tellers, Burning Abyss, and you know, a whole bunch of other stuff. Also good against uh, Necroz, you can just shuffle the shit back in there. And no more Trap Eater, instead of playing Trap Eater, we're playing Two Fairy Wind. This is just way better in the Cliff War matchup. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Sorry I uh, took me about a week to upload this, but I just couldn't find the time. And now I have found the time, but as, uh, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and take it easy.